Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial on how to use the Fonto app for iOS and for Android. Um, I'm going to be using an iOS device, that's the one I'm using here and displaying. You can get that by going to ryanmayer.net slash Fonto. It's free and that link will, it's my affiliate link for iTunes and it will redirect you to the App Store automatically and you can get the app. Um, if you're on uh, Google Play, you can go to uh, just type in Fonto and you'll find it. We're going to be going over how to create images from scratch and this is an awesome app for creating all sorts of images and uh, it allows you to choose your size whether you want it to be um, the size for an iPhone or an iPad um, or for Instagram. It's really awesome. There's a lot of different choices that you can do. We're going to go over that. We're also going to go over uh, how to add text and how to um, pick a different fonts and all the different sizing options. We're going to go over all of that. And also we're going to tweak the text. We're going to show you how do you make more spacing? How do you center it? How do you align it and do all that different stuff? And then we're also going to go over how to export to your camera roll. Now all of that's important because obviously if you make it and you don't know how to do that, then you're not going to have a finished product. So we want you to have it in the highest resolution possible. So without further ado, if you uh, already have the app installed, we're just going to go ahead and open it up here. I already have it. And we're going to go ahead and select Fonto. All right? And so it opens to a blank page. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select the camera option. And right from here, uh, you can you can select, you can take a picture and start out that way, or you can do something that you already have on your camera roll. Um, or you can restore from a previous state. That's actually pretty cool. But we're going to go ahead and start out with plain image. So we're just going to start from scratch here. And it, it allows you to do these uh, different grids or designs. You can go to My Templates um, or recent ones that you've used. We're going to go ahead and just start from scratch. And we're going to pick this dark one in the top left-hand corner. After I tap that, I now have, if you look at the very top, you'll see it says, uh, uh, 2048 by 2048. Um, you can tap that and now you get all the different image sizing options. It's pretty cool. If you want a square image for Instagram, that would be the, the one that you would pick for the top. Uh, four by three, uh, three by two, and then you'll start seeing individual like sizes for the iPhone, uh, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, all that kind of stuff. We're going to go ahead and start out with iPhone 6. And we're going to do the a vertical one. So we'll go ahead and tap that. And you'll notice that the top it says 750 by 1334. It's now it's letting us know that that's the size. And from here, you you see all these different uh, slots. It says empty. You can, you know, tap on these different ones. Uh, right here it says color. You can select the color that you want either by selecting one of these preset ones um, or you can move the slider and change the color and even the opacity to get to the, the level that you want, uh, the alpha. So anyway, we're just going to go ahead and select this darker gray color and then we'll hit apply. And then you'll see that it's changed. And if and whenever you're ready, you can just hit this uh, icon in the top right hand corner. But before we do that, I want to show you this little bottom row here. You can do all sorts of cool little designs with this. And this is something to play around with. You can you can do different colors and different uh, combinations you want a border around it, uh, whatnot. But we're just going to go ahead and do the one on the far left, which is just a plain one. And then we're going to tap that right, uh, the icon in the top right hand corner. And then it says use, save, or use and save. Since I've, this is just basic, um, I'm just going to hit use. And now we have a plain image uh, made for the iPhone 6. And to start off, we're going to hit, we're just going to tap. And that's going to give us this little indicator here. And uh, if you have some pre-made ones, you can uh, put those in there. That's why you see the little arrow and it says Christian quotations. We're just going to hit add text. And then right here, uh, we're just going to go ahead and type something in. So we'll say uh, God is love because he is, ladies and gentlemen, exclamation mark. And then you can tap this this uh, button here in the middle. It says align, align right, align center, and whatnot. And we're just going to hit done. Now you'll notice 
there you have it. It's that little thing right there in the middle. And we're going to size it by just going here and you can drag the slider. See that? Or you can tap the uh, plus or minus sign and get it to the size you want. And then you can just touch it and move it all around here, which is kind of nice. And I, I usually, you know, roughly put it in the middle. And then uh, also you can hit the, the move button. And you'll notice that you get this uh, little guy here. Oops. I hit that thing here. Let's go back here. You hit move. And then uh, on the bottom left-hand corner, you see the A with the two arrows. And you can just hit that, and it centers it uh, horizontally. And then you can also hit the other one, uh, which centers it vertically, which is pretty cool. And then there's also this layout thing here where you can tap these different ones and it'll put it in a different layout. But anyway, I usually just put it centered right in the middle. And then uh, from there, you can just hit the font that you want. Say you want this font here. And then usually it'll move it. And so I'll have to go back and tap these two things again, get it to where it needs to be. Uh, again, you can select all sorts of fonts that come built in. Uh, there's tons and tons of fonts built into Fonto. Or you can go in here and you can add your own fonts. And you can scroll to the bottom and it says how to install fonts. And it'll show you step-by-step uh, -step directions on how to do that. So you just look at that little, those instructions and you can do it from there. But anyway, uh, I already have a ton of fonts on here. And, and then you can, you can favorite fonts that you use all the time. And here are some of the ones that I use that I really like. Um, some of these I added, some of these are built in. Uh, George is a really great font that I love. It's really popular. So we'll use that one. And so anyway, um, what else? Let's go ahead and tap here and it says style. Now this is where we can really get into changing what it looks like on the actual uh, background. We'll make it red. You can actually change the slider uh, the color of it or the opacity. Um, you can select a custom color. And then also if you hit stroke, it'll put a little outline around your text. So say I want it to be a black stroke around the, the side of it and how thick do I want it to be. You can play around with that. We don't want to put that on there right now. We're going to go to background. Uh, this is pretty cool. You can just uh, select a, a white background and uh, or you can do the same thing you can change the size and you can even make the background a little wider if you want it to be um, but say you just want the text to be we'll make the text black and then the background white and then all you have to do is hit done and then there you have it you have a nice background on it um, okay we'll go ahead and select that uh, text again go back to style and then on the top you'll see color and style we're gonna hit style this time and if you want to have a shadow, you'll see it says shadow, spacing, curving, underline. So these, there's a lot more options in here. <clears throat> and a lot of them you can just play around with it and get it to be the way that you want. And then you go in here and you can mess around with the different styles of drop shadow. Uh, typically, if you get one that you like, then you can mess around with the, the alpha or the blur or whatnot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take that off by pulling the alpha all the way to the, the, uh, to the left. That'll get rid of it. One of the things that I use all the time is the letter spacing and the line spacing. And typically I, I, won't, I won't drag that because it'll look, how, look what it does. It's all, it moves it a lot. But typically what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just bump it by hitting the plus or minus sign. And then you can do the same thing with up and down. You can just hold it down and it'll move it as well. So you get it to, to be the way that you want, and you can hit done. And again, we'll put it, we'll center it like that. And then, uh, yeah, you can do all sorts of awesome stuff by changing, coming in here, tapping this uh, little icon in the bottom left-hand corner, and you can change the theme. Now this is kind of cool because we already have that background. And say I want to put this as a circle. You can come in here and you can add a little circle on it if you want to and then I can go back into change theme again say I'll use one of these preset ones that are pretty cool we'll even put that on a background like this you can change the opacity of it and uh, let's see here there we go that was looking pretty good and then uh, and that's just by you know using one of the preselected ones and then we can go to the bottom right hand corner when you're all said and done 
you come in here, the bottom right hand corner, and you tap, tap the icon, and you can just save the image in the bottom left hand corner, or you can text it to somebody or post it to uh, Instagram, but we're going to go ahead and just save the image. Now that saved it to my camera roll. But say I'm not done. Say I want to add another uh, piece of text. You just tap again, add more text, and say you, you want to select, you can actually get the font and the preset and all that stuff. We'll go ahead and add Bible lock screens to the, and we'll center it. We'll put it right here in the middle. So now I have it, and obviously that's way too big. Uh, we want that to be small. I'm going to go ahead and hit font, go in here and change it to a different font, and I'm going to center it, and then tap it up here. And because that's a little harder to read, well, it's, it's okay to read, but you know what? I want it to be easier to read. I'm going to go ahead and change the color by hitting style and then changing that to white text. And then I'll hit style on the top and get a shadow. I'll hit the dark shadow. And then I'll select the, on the bottom, the different styles. I'll do the one on the far right and then I'll hit done. So it makes it a little easier to read. If I wanted to, I could add a black background. Oops, a black background, hit the background tab, hit a black background like that. That would make it really easy to read. So anyway, uh, that's, that's the basics of Fonto. You can do awesome stuff with it. And uh, if you wanna add like another image, you can just go in here and hit add image, um, or you can add an item, which is kind of cool. They have some built-in stuff here. Um, I don't know why you'd wanna use a lot of these, but maybe you wanna put some kind of a, a message on it or a, a think bubble, which is kind of cool. And you can tap that and you can mess with the color of it and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of options um, here within there. You can remove it uh, and all that. So hopefully this has been uh, helpful for you. You can uh, download in the App Store. It's free. And uh, there's, a, there's a ton of things you can do with it. So hopefully this has been a blessing to you. Until next time, uh, go out and make a difference. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.